We know that the capsorexis is one of the most important parts of cataract surgery. But how do you start your capsorexis? Hi, I'm Mohamed El Mawa. I practice in Central Florida. I want to discuss with you, my colleagues today, a slight modification to my capsorexis technique that I started doing this year. There are many ways to perform a capsorexis. I prefer to start out with a cystotome and then move on to using a trot of forceps. But I do have colleagues who use a cystotome for the entire capsorexis. And I'm sure you've seen videos where some of our colleagues will use a trotta forceps uh, to perform the entire capsorexis. They'll use a sharp trotta uh, to pierce the capsorexis and then carry on performing uh, the entire capsorexis using those trotta forceps. But I've started getting frustrated with one part of the capsorex, specifically this part here where you start. I felt, you know, you didn't always, I didn't always get consist, consistently get it to get the leaflet to fold over. And sometimes it required multiple uh, passes uh, where I try and flick the little leaflet over. Sometimes two, three, four passes to do that. And I'm just going to show a few more examples of that. Just pay attention to how the movements of the cystotome tip and how we have to work to reflect that anterior capsule leaflet over. So I started experimenting with uh, just making one continuous movement. And at first it wasn't always successful, as we can see here. I make just one pass, but the leaflet just really isn't enough here for the trotta to grab, and I struggle with this case. Eventually, I settled on this technique here, which has been uh, really served me well uh, for the majority of this year. Where we'll make just one continuous motion to start the capsular axis, and then we can easily grab the leaflet with the trotter forceps, and then smoothly uh, and efficiently complete a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now, I'm going to show uh, several examples of that uh, with high magnification so we can better appreciate this one continuous movement, this one continuous motion. Once again, another example, one continuous motion. We create a leaflet there that we can readily grab with the trotta forceps, that we can readily grab and reflect with the trotta forceps to complete a continuous curvilinear capsorexis. So several examples of that motion. And I want to show you once more just how easy it is to grab that leaflet with the etrata forceps. So once again using the same technique and then we grab the uh, leaflet here with the etrata forceps. Let's show both these techniques side by side. And then I'm going to show this in slow motion. This is slowed down to one quarter speed. And the new technique is on the right hand side here. And I've done this, like I said, for the last 500 cases or so. And we'll show uh, another example of that here. Normal speed. And then we'll slow this down to one quarter speed so you can appreciate the difference in technique. Feel free to pause the video and rewind and watch this part again to appreciate the mechanism behind this technique. So I've done about 500 cases using this technique and although it's not a major change, I've really enjoyed this part of the case being a little bit more predictable. Please let me know if you try it and how it turns out for you. Thanks for watching.